Hello everybody, it's the one Clash here, and we're back with another deck profile, and you, as you guys can see, it's going to be your boy Guzma. So, we're going to play 60 copies of your boy Guzma right here, just 60 copies of them, I just grabbed 3 at the top of the deck. You know, 60 copies of your boy Guzma, um, I think that deck's going to work really well in standard format, and it's going to take down all the big bosses of Pokemon, you know, Guzma has an eccentric flair to him, and I think he'll make a great leader for our video. I'm joking, guys. I can't play all supporters. I mean, someone used to call me Dimwit when I said I wasn't going to play all supporters. Um, but yeah. So, definitely not going to do that. I'm not stupid. So, if you guys don't know what we're doing, it's we're doing the Lispod GX deck profile. Now, this deck profile is going to be pretty, um, pretty standard. Um, it's not, it's because go I'm making this deck profile because Lissapod won Pokemon it got second place in the Pokemon World Championships, which is unfortunate because it should have beat Gardevoir. Although Diego did a good job, I think. His name was Diego, I'm pretty sure. Diego did a pretty good job of winning. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna get right into the deck profile. Um this does have your boy Guzman in it, so don't get too disappointed. He's still in the deck. But, you know, we can't play 60 copies of him. So, um, as you guys can see, I have this little box right here. This is just a plop that cards up. It just kind of matches the mat, so. Playing four copies of the Burning Shadows on Pod. I'm just going to put them all down here. As you guys can see, um, I like this new way of doing it. It's kind of nice. Um, it has 70 HP. Get the camera up really quick. Um, it has the ability to wimp out during your first turn. This Pokemon has no retreat cost whatsoever, and it has gnaw for 30 damage. Does has um, well, just does 30 damage. It's not very important. So, um, this obviously needs to evolve into Glissopod. Um, now there is another Wimpod in the format, but I have it right here, actually. So you guys can see what it does. Here it is. The Wimpod from Guardians Rising. It has um, two attacks. Scan for way, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards and attach it to your death and ram for ten damage. It's it has two retreat costs. It's really not that much better than I, th I think the the one from Burning Shadows is better because it has the ability. So yeah. Next up is three copies of the mascot of this deck. Full Art Glossopod GX, at least in my deck, I have play a Full Art, some of you guys have Hyper Rares. Some of you guys have Hyper Rares, like, I can't believe, I can't imagine owning a Hyper Glossopod. So, you guys can look at that one. Glossopod does have 210 HP, uh, he has three attacks, the first one being First Impression. Um, if this Pokemon became your active Pokemon during this turn, um, it does 90 more damage. 90 more damage. 120 for an energy, that's pretty good. But, ha, I need switching cards. Well, you got your boy, Guzma. He, can, he switches uh, your own Pokemon, too. You can also, um, you know, I'll talk about the combinations later with the cards, but, you know, this deck's like a your boy Guzma deck, because if you guys don't know, the Lesser is your boy Guzma's go-to guy during the um, video game series. So, you know, if we have your boy... Boy's gonna help us. Um, boy will make sure we go to the Pokemon World Championships with this deck. So, so obviously, it has two more attacks. Um, it has for Grass and DCE does 100 damage. It's called Armor Press, and it takes 20 less damage. It's pretty good if you're like you're gonna take a knockout next turn, and then your opponent is like, oh, your opponents are taking knockout next turn, and like, oh yeah, I'll Armor Press, and then now they can't knock you out. It's pretty cheeky sometimes, and it does take some good, some good prizes sometimes. So, and also its final attack, its GX attack is probably my favorite thing about this deck. Um, it's this is why this this one of the if it didn't have this GX attack, guys, trust me, I wouldn't be making a video on it. It's still a very good card. I just think that Glossopod is needs this GX attack and that's why this deck is put it just puts it over the top. Um it's called Carson Code GX has one fifty and you switch your Pokemon with one if you're active. 
if you put a choice band on it, S180 and it's knocking out all basics. Most basic GXs besides Labras. So, I mean, it's okay in that sense. So yeah, um, those are our three copies of Galissapod. So you guys know that that's like the main attack of the deck. But we need someone to back Galissapod up. He's not very important. He's not that. He's not perfect. So we have to bring. So Galissapod tried to go around the town. He he tried to go around the town. He asked many different people. He asked Zorark. Zorark turned him down. He asked Gardevoir. Gardevoir said, "No way. I already beat you." So he had to go to the dump, and he found these piles of trash. Of course, I'm talking about Trubbish. Playing four of the Breakpoint. Trubbish just has 70 HP and has Acid Spray for a Psychic. Does 10 damage and has Flip a Coin and has discarded an energy attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. Pretty clutch if you ask me sometimes. Alright guys, I'm trying to fix my new tripod. It's pretty crappy. I'll do it like that and just zoom a little bit. There we go, guys. Sorry about that. I'll just do this one right here. I'll just do it from here now. Sweet. So yeah, it's gonna attack all the acid spray. Um, basically that evolves into something special, and I'm going to make a quick cut while I fix my camera, guys. Sorry guys about that cut, this should look a lot better now. And as you can see, those piles of trash that, you know, Glossify was looking for, he found them. Um, I'm playing two copies of the Trash Alliance Garbodor. And, so, Trash Alliance does 20 damage times the amount of items in the discard pile. This is a great late game attacker. You know, if you only need like two prizes left and Garbodor is sitting on the bench, that's great. And it has also a secondary attack that you could use, Acid Spray, Flip Coin, if it has discarded energy, but you're not really going to want to use it. I don't really think this is really need it, but I don't know. Sometimes those Pokemon players need uh, an attack like that. So, go ahead and do that. Two copies of this Garbodor. But there was some more trash he found in the streets. Like, seriously, how many trash Pokemon can you find? We're also going to be playing two copies of the Garbotoxin Garbodor. Um, if this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, each Pokemon each Pokemon to play in each player's hand, and each player to discard pile has no abilities. That's a lot of ability lock. So, we have a ton of tools in this deck. We have Choice Band, we have Float Zone, we have... And we, we have a lot... Of, we have seven tools in total. So, the likelihood that you're going to hit one's pretty high. So, you know, that means you can get ability locked down. And that's pretty good. So that way Glossabog can just kind of cycle and do its thing. And this deck works really well with Vileplume. If once you have the items down, because then you can't play Field Blower. But Vileplume's rotated and Forest is dead. This deck would have been probably better at Worlds if it just played the Vileplume version. But, I don't know, the Garbodor version got second place. So I guess um, Diego knew what he's doing. Next is our next attacker, and he'll probably be our final attacker. Before I um, show you that person, I want to show you guys this card right here. This is an alternative to the other card if you really didn't want to play it. Um, so I'm just going to show you this card. You can either put this one or the next one in your deck. This is the Guardian's Rising Glossopod. Uh, it, it has an ability called Armor. It takes 3 less damage from any attacks after applying weakness and resistance. And a, at a Amazing attack called Resolute Cause for a Grass and DCE it does 80 damage, and if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or a Pokemon EX, the deck does 70 more damage before applying weakness and resistance. Choice Band, that's 180. That's amazing. Now, you might be asking me why do you not do this? It's really hard to commit two energy to a one prize attacker. It's really hard because you know, it mo most likely dies, but some people just play one of it, and sometimes it helps when you're playing against Darkrai's. My, the next, the next attacker I'm going to show you deals with stage 2 decks, and that's what my league is a bunch around. So I just decided to play that card, and that way I'll win in my local area. When it's deciding to go to big tournaments or not, 
I mean, if the Gardevoir Metagross kind of stays the meta, then I would bring it. But it, because this dies to Baby Volcanion, it's horrible. Power Heater with two Steam Ups will knock you out. And it just, I don't know, I think I'd rather play the other card any day. So, I don't know, this is just, if you decide, like, if you have a bunch of basic decks, like Coco, if you have Darkrai, Drampa, Garb, this is a good card to deal with those decks. So, the next card is the one I actually want to show you. It's going to be one of those, another one of those animated cards. And it's also going to be today's super spicy tech of the day. Um, that's going to be Tapu Fini GX. Uh, Tapu Fini GX has... Three attacks. We're going to be looking more at the first in the GX attack. Um, it has it's a water type. It has 170 HP, I believe. It has an ability attack called Aqua Ring. Does 20 damage for water and can switch the bench. Hydro Shot. You don't want to use. It's we don't we we don't have enough means and resources to attach to water energy. Water energy to top of in GX and it's just not enough and also you gotta discard it too. If you're in a pinch and you need to like snipe a shaman if you're playing expanded or something, I don't know why you play this deck expanded, but if you are do what you need to do, but I don't think you should. And finally it's the last attack. Hapu Storm GX. Shuffle your opponents, active Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into their deck. Let me remember you understand that if you have a stage 2 Metagross with like 5 energy on it, or stage 2 Gardevoir with 5 energy on it, you, I, I maybe, maybe Metagross wouldn't have that energy on it, maybe 3. You shuffle all those energy back in the deck, and, and the, the Gardevoir, the, whatever, the basic Pokemon, they've already used a rare candy for that Pokemon. They would have to evolve again. It just, just it takes the Pokemon out of play completely for at least 2 turns. And that's saying if they haven't burnt through all the resources already. Normally that attack's taking that Pokemon out for all the turns, for the rest of the turns of the game. And Tapu Fini that way, you can just kind of defend that way. It's like a really good defense against Gardevoir. And I think it's a wonderful tech. And finally, I don't even know, I think I need to explain it. You could use all three attacks with this Lele if you needed to. Um... Energy Drive does 20 damage times the amount of energy times both Pokemon, type of Cure GX. We have Rainbow Energy, so that's why I'm saying, like, we can use all the different types of energy, because we have Rainbow Energy. Um, but you're really using it for the ability to play it. When you play it down, you Now, we get to the supporters. I was having major camera trouble. The uh, camera lens weren't working. Um, I don't know what happened. But now we're going to get into supporters. So... It's probably been about 30 minutes since I started last I finished recording the Lele part. If I didn't hear, if you didn't hear the word, basically Lele is used for gaining supporters. So let's get into supporters now. Um, our first supporter is gonna be four copies of this guy. I'll put his brother in down here. Four copies of Professor Sigmore, discard your hand, draw seven. Pretty, most aggressive draw supporter in the format. We're also gonna be playing three copies of. The Pokemon Rights Activist himself, Mr. N. I have them all behind him. Um, shuffle your, each player shuffles their hand into his or her deck and draws the remaining pride card. That's good disruption. Yada, yada, yada. Shifts. And also, so this card, if you have like five, four full of stones in your hand and you have a Sycamore, play N, please. Don't disappoint us. Please get N. Thank you. Basically, yeah, it's helping you don't waste you so you don't waste resources. Now we're getting some probably the most important support in your deck. It's your boy Guzma. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. If you do, switch your bench Pokemon with one of your once switch your active on your bench Pokemon. That's basically saying you can like snipe a Lele. Or something, and then switch to Glissopod to get the, like the 120 damage. This card, the card, Glissopod and Guzma were meant for each other. 
These cards are built for each other. And that's why it's one of those switching cards that's talking about. It's amazing. It's one of those combos. That's one of the easier combos, remember. Now we're going to get to a harder combo with two copies of a really cool new support from Burning Shadows, Acerola. Now, Acerola lets you pick up one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, and all the cards attach into your hand. So let's say I have a Galissapod with a Rainbow Energy on it. Now, if you guys don't know what Rainbow Energy does, it adds a damage counter on it. So that counts as damage. I need to put my bench close upon over here into the active. Okay? Now, Ace Arola lets you pick up the damage one. Oh, I'm going to play Ace Arola down. You never saw that coming. Pick up the damage one. And put the new one in the active. Therefore, activating the first impression 120 damage. So Ace Roll is really good, and also, if something's like in danger of dying, or let's say like a Lele, you need to pick up the Lele, you can attach a Rainbow Energy and play Ace Roll pick it up, and then we can use it again. I'm sorry guys, I had to make a quick cut because my dumb brother came rushing down the stairs. Whatever, I'll continue. So, yeah, Ace Roller does well. Um, we're also going to play one copy of Bridget. Let's just get all of our basics really quickly. It's pretty good. I have the full art version. I know, I got it for three bucks back when it was nothing. The items now. I'm going to play four copies of Ultra Ball. You guys should know what this does. Search, discard two, search for Pokemon. It's good. Let's get Glissopods out, whatever you need. Next card is majorly important in the deck. It's gonna be four copies of Floatstone. This lets you gives no retreat cost, so you can put that on Garbodor as like an item, and it shuts down the energy and shuts down abilities. So therefore, they don't have to go get them. Um, it's also good for Glissapod because you can like retreat and send another Glissapod, and then like, oh wait, it's doing the first impression damage. Oh, oh, this is a good card. It's a good deck. Yeah. Well, what happens if we have uh? Some items that are hurting us, or a stadium are hurting us. So it's okay, we got Field Blower. Just choose the two Pokemon tool cards and discard them. Goodbye. Field Blower cleans up messes that, you know, my ugly brother makes. Also, next, we're going to play two copies of Rescue Stretcher. This can help us get our fallen Pokemon back. It has two great options you can choose from, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going through these items and supporters kind of quickly because I know everyone's seen them before. And you guys just want to see what's in the deck. And this time I'll try to put like a list in the bottom of it. Three copies of Choice Band. Just helping us hit the crossing cut number 180. And also 150 on the um, first impression is pretty nice. So Two copies of Switch. Switch. Switch your active Pokemon from your bench. It's, pr it's the most basic item in this deck. Switch. Just switch. Just switch. Okay? This is going to get the same first impression damage we're talking about. Next up is Heavy Ball. Um, search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more. That's getting you Wimpods, Glossopods, um, both Garbodors, and yeah, that's it. So that's getting most of your Pokemon out, so it's pretty good. And I play one of it, just in case you don't really want an Ultra Ball. And it's also kind of a good alternative to add an extra searchable card in there. Now for the energy, we're playing four Grass Energy. Four. DCE. And four Rainbow. I, I don't have the fourth rainbow with me right now. Basically, you guys know what grass and DCE do, but I'm going to go over rainbow and how it helps the deck. So rainbow, of course, he's the king. So king rainbow. That's I mean, is that is that the new channel meme? So this this card provides um, any type of energy, and it, you can put a damage counter on it. So basically what it does is it provides any type of energy. So you can use Garbodor. It'll power up Feeny's attacks. It can power up Lele's attacks. It can, you can put it on Glissapod. It's everything. And then also, you can put it on something and use Acerola to pick it up. Because it puts damage on it. This card's such a good card. And 
it's used in mo most decks that have different two different typings with them now, and it's definitely a card to look out for. So I went through that the items pretty quickly. I went through m lots of things really quickly. Hopefully you guys don't aren't too mad about that. I kind of want to talk about matchups this deck has and how it's going to beat them. It has a good Gardevoir matchup with the Finny and the Metagross. The Metagross matchup, same thing. Um, Volcanian, it's not an auto loss, but it's an auto loss, kind of. Like, you have a really slim chance of winning. Best thing you can do is Glissopod donk them. You can donk them with something. I don't know. I mean, you could crossing cut just the 180, which would knock out the Volcanian. I don't know if Volcanian has resistance or not. I don't think it does. The fire to grass, so I don't know, because because does have a fire weakness. So baby Volcanian obviously can knock out. Uh, turning there is 190, which is definitely a problem. New Ho GX is a problem, but Kiawe giving you a turn to knock him out is pretty good. So I don't know. It's definitely an uphill matchup. It's not one that's just clear cut. Same thing with all the other decks. It's not an uphill matchup, but I mean. Two shots from Glissopod will knock out a Gar Gardevoir, and you're only at attaching one energy to the Glissopod, and that means they would to knock you out. They would have to have six energy in the Gardevoir, and they can do that in two turns. But if you attack first, then they attack you. They'll be knocked out once they've committed three energy to you. They're like, it's pretty crazy. So obviously Glissopod. Same thing with Metagross. You kind of just armor press, and then you um, first impression with the choice band on it. It does a lot, and you're kind of just, and then you're AC rolling, and you're kind of taking damage off the board. And when you take damage off the boards, it just it ruins your opponent's day. Um, I'm trying to think of other big decks right now. Vikabulu just deck is pretty good against. It's not a clear cut win again. But it does have the crossing cut GX. Um, Vicka Blue plays a ton of items. Gar Garbador will knock it out. It just deck beats Stranford Garb. SPN Garb's an uphill matchup, I think. It's kind of like a 50 50 matchup. Because they have Divide GX, and if you don't have any, like they can knock out like one of your Wimp Pods. Um, if you're playing against the crazy, weird, Weavile. The the Weavile ability destruction in one. You're you're gonna probably take an L if you don't evolve pretty quickly. You know I mean this deck your cart your ability you have a bunch of ability based Pokemon because we're playing four of the ability win pods. So you have like two win pods dead in the bench, you know, two shots of um his whatever I think it's called Rule of Evil will knock you out, you know. Garbodor, uh, Garbotoxin has an ability, Lele has an ability, so I mean it's obviously something you would have to work around, but I think you can still beat it, especially because they play a ton of items too. A lot of these decks are playing a ton of items and this is definitely more of like a better deck to play. Grass isn't the best type, but it's also not the worst type. Um, Fire's been getting a lot of support lately. This destroys Tapu Koko. The only matchups that you're really gonna have to like think through are Metagross and Gardevoir, although the Finny tech, if but if Finny gets prized, you're actually gonna think and gotta play it right. But this deck is the only bad, really, really bad matchup I see right now is Volcanion. And I've played against Volcanion once and I lost to it. It's not I mean I've play tested against it a bunch of times and I've won like out of fifty matches I won like two. So you know, it's not very... You're not going to win always against Volcanium, but... Definitely a good deck, though. Definitely not one to sleep on. Um, sometimes people want to suggest to play 4 Guzma and take out 1 Choice Band. You guys can do that. I like the 3 Guzma, 3 Choice Band. Um, I think this... I'm going to take this deck to a League Cup, and I'll give you guys, like, a tournament report. And see how I did. So, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like comment and subscribe and I will get doing another deck profile soon. I might do a Volcanium one if I can get all the information and stuff ready. So thank you everyone for watching. This is the Alolan Clasher signing out.